Yeah, that, that one is tricky because um, it really is going to rely on an image, first of all. So it, it needs an image that has an alpha channel. Or mm -hmm. if not an alpha channel, then at least like transparency, like a PNG can have a trans... It doesn't technically, it's not an alpha channel. Uh, PNG is a weird format, but um, you can see that the base color, for example, has this alpha. If the image... I did it again. If the image... Uh, <laughs> if, if the image had an alpha channel, um, that transparency information could be output from here, and it would actually get plugged right into the alpha, uh, which is here. Right now, mm -hmm. I'm controlling it completely with a, a single slider, so that would do this to the object. Uh, let's bring it around here. That would make the thing like semi-transparent which isn't well, drawing well in here well right? we need to also make the uh configure the transparency mode for the material right yes that that's the part that everybody seems to miss they go oh well I, look i made it like 50 percent transparent why isn't yeah. it working um and that is done through the uh properties over here on the side again the letter n if you hit um and then go to options when you're inside a material here are settings that are really important for you number one back face calling did you ever make a scene oh, yeah, and this, you, yeah. you do or don't want to be able to see it from the inside or the outside? That will do that for you if it's culling back faces. Um, and the same goes in hubs. Like if you don't want to see all the other sides of all the faces of things, you can turn that on and it will not draw uh, the back face. Yeah, and so you can you can set it to both uh, front or back side. And, and they're kind of, you might want to use one or the other on um, just depending on, on what your model looks like, but um, those settings will fully transfer over into, into the GLTF and, and into hubs. So like if this uh, top were missing uh, on the object, um, you can see it better now. Now it's culling or not drawing those back faces. Um, but if you do want that, then you would leave that. Um, and off. you can set it to the opposite too. So like it's just going to render the, the, the back faces if you wanted like a, to, to just see inside the, inside the shape. Wait, how would I do that? I don't Is know. that not an option? Oh, I thought that was an option. No. no. <laughs> well, so it's an just, option. You could just it's an option in hubs. You could just uh, flip it, the like normals. In, in, yeah, you could just flip the normals, I guess. So um, that's important. The other one that's really important, though, is the blend mode. And this is really the key to transparency. Yeah. So I don't have transparency on this, but I will turn the alpha down right now just so uh, it would like fade the whole thing out. That's not actually going to show or export properly until you set the blend mode to one of these alpha types. Um, there are only two that are supported by GLTF, alpha blend and alpha clip, uh, sometimes known as alpha test. You might see that term somewhere else, but blend is the one that gives you the soft sort of semi-transparent look. Now the reason mm -hmm. I'm showing this um, first is because that's usually the one that people want. The bad news about it is that this can cause all kinds of problems uh, in terms of rendering. Um, the other one is alpha clip, where you specify this clip. Yeah, that's, that's not really going to work on this. Uh, like, you, it, you need a gradient of, of values here, so it's not going to. Yeah, gonna work th great this on won't this do anything really except turn completely off or completely on. Uh, yeah, but 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 this actually demonstrates pretty well what it's doing. Um, by by setting it to alpha clip, you're setting a, a specific threshold. Um, so it's either going to be completely transparent or completely opaque. And uh, you're setting the the alpha value at which that happens. And so when the uh, you know the alpha value of the, the pixels in the image um, are greater than the the alpha clip value, um, it's not going to get clipped. And when it's below, it, it will. And so you can see here you set you set it to a specific value. And then if you change that slider, which is effectively kind of making a fully uh, if you set the slider in the um, the BSDF node, which is kind of effectively making an image that is either that that has a specific alpha value. Um, you'll see when it matches the the cutoff threshold, it's gonna it's gonna go completely opaque. Um, yeah. If I if I so, used an actual image though. Yeah. If you have if you have some sort of transparent image, that probably let's throw let's throw an show. image on here. Oh man, no! Don't put it in between. I didn't want. To. <laughs> uh, let's let's slide it over here a little bit. Oh, you son of a! It's like automatically doing that. Let me let me let me uh, let me reorganize my graph a little bit here. That's better. You keep your graph tidy. It's important. Um, oh, by the way, uh, just in case, I, I want to give another shout out to that Node Wrangler plugin. Uh, you can do this really sweet thing. You're going to like this, Dom, because it's going to uh, just, uh, you know, being sort of particular about, you know, how things are laid out. You can hold shift 
and then right click swipe through one of these wires anywhere like here whoop mm -hmm. and it makes like these little extra dots oh, so you can like cool. you know if no, you don't you if you don't like them. these diagonals you, a you lot can of make people, it look like a circuit board like yeah <laughs> you, you can do like this kind of action where you go oh i want it all like you know that's cool nicely laid out or whatever i could see some people getting very very Way too particular about this <laughs> yeah um, but like... what's really cool too now is that because a lot of times you're you're like zooming in and zooming way out to like plug things now when you unplug this like it stays on that dot right 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 so that you could just like test and plug yep. it back in so i, I really like that sense. node wrangler it's it comes with blender just turn it on in your add-ons <laughs> uh, so then anyway so if i have an image texture that has alpha um, so I happen to have some pictures that I have saved that have alpha in them that I use for testing things. So, like, for example, um, there is an image of, uh, I actually don't know what this image is. I should probably look first. Uh, don't worry, it's safe for work. Okay, it's like these dice, right? This is like a common test image. It has some transparency in it. The background is transparent. Um, when that is plugged in, when you take its alpha and plug it into the alpha channel here. Uh, what you're going to see on the object when it's set to alpha clip right now is that very sort of binary digital, like, is it on or is it off? Um, and as I scrub through and you this... Can, you should plug that map into the, into the base color, too, just so that we can see it line up. Oh, good idea. Let's plug that in. Yeah, we're doing everything all in one material right, So here. you're it's seeing parts of those but... dice um, yep. laid out on here. As I as I play with the alpha clip value, it's kind of going, well, I think that's like a visible pixel. So right. it's easy to get the background to go away. So that's nice. Um, but if you're trying to get like a fine soft edge, you're never going to get it uh, because they're either on or off like mm -hmm. each pixel. It's not going to be uh, semi-transparent, but it makes it very cheap for rendering as opposed to alpha blend where you don't get a slider and it's just going to use the, tr the actual transparency settings of the image. But you can see, even in Blender, uh, it has some trouble resolving sometimes, like what's in front of what. Um, yeah, I mean the the main yeah the main thing you're going to run into with with um, Alpha Blend is is with overlapping things. So like that. Um, within the same object or um, or uh, within or different objects, you're going to end up with issues. And we can we can quickly go over kind of like why that happens. Um, but the but basically. Uh, only use alpha blend if you need to <laughs> is kind of the thing. Like if you can yep. get away with using alpha clip, it's going to be um, more performant and uh, just you're going to run into less issues with, with overlapping with other things. Look how well um, it overlaps. No, no yeah. flickering so, between them. Um, but by default, like, like, um, like I said, Blender is just going to have it set to completely opaque. Um, and so, you know, if you drag something to the alpha channel and you're confused as to why it didn't do anything, yeah, you have to go change that in the, 